Welcome to day 2,464 of What You Have to Know. Sharon Horn Nelson here. Uh, originally started doing this segment to document my journey online. Just like I originally started doing the left, or the annual challenge, a daily challenge to warm up my voice so that I could do videos and speak in a way that wasn't gravel gritty like I am now because I've got a cold. So today I created a couple of pieces of content. The first is, of course, for our Let's Grow annual challenge. We're focusing on communication growth this month and we're applying our growing strategy to it. Step three today, which is organize options. We brainstorm options and then we look at them and we organize them, we prioritize them and we decide what are we gonna act on right now to fill the gap between where we are and where we wanna be with respect to the communication goal we set for ourselves a couple of days ago. And then looking at that compared to that, that's the what we want versus where we are right now, the results now yesterday, the story we've been telling ourselves or what's really going on, what is really, really going on with respect to communication in the area that we set the goal for. Mine is with my relationship with my granddaughters and e each person in the challenges probably set a different relationship or a different communication type or style or problem or challenge or area they wanna improve that they're working on. And that's why I like the process. It can be applied to any of these areas in any area or aspect of our life. Uh, that's why we created it in January. We came up with it in January after looking at a lot of different frameworks and deciding, okay, what's our process going to be this year as we go through the challenge? And what I'm finding is by about the last time we're going through it, there's things that are squeaky. And this one, it was about the middle of the year where I was like, nah, I'm not sure I love the order of this, but it doesn't matter. This is what we're going through this year and we'll tweak it and change it and make it our own going forward so that we have another tool in our toolbox to create what it is that we want in our life, our businesses on every area and aspect of our life. For Supersize Your Business, we did number 75 of the fundamental supersized business strategies today. And I talked about the coaching strategy and I just shared an example of uh, how I know when to get a coach myself, right? Usually coaches have coaches. Almost every successful business person that you know or have ever met has either had a coach or a mentor or someone that has helped guide them through different areas and aspects of growing and building and supersizing their business or through different areas and aspects of their life. And I shared a, a health related thing for mine because health has been a huge factor and a huge player in my personal journey and my personal experience. I had some really big challenges in that area. And so those are some that I draw from and definitely have had to go find experts and coaches in to help me to navigate some of the things that I had to navigate in that area. And that's true in any area or aspect of our life. Uh, that is all I've got today. It is Sunday in my neck of the woods. So it's planning and getting ready for next week. If I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.